Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Nancy Pelosi just made herself look like a, well, a wacky, kind of senile, kind of curmudgeonly old lady in the house. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, you guys may have heard that Congress is voting on a potential ban on TikTok. And Nancy Pelosi is anything but hip and young. She's like broken hip and old, in fact, even though she doesn't have a broken hip. But you get what I'm saying. She's not part of the hip club. She's part of the broken hip club. She's in a totally different world. So she's giving a speech on in the House talking about how this is not a ban on TikTok. And I guess technically it's not. I guess technically it's not. They want to get the Chinese out of it. Listen, I don't really know where I stand on this, to be honest with you. It's actually a very complex issue because I don't like China having this much data collection ability, especially with our kids. You know, we're hearing things about TikTok can record your keystrokes. That's a huge thing. And this could be a massive data collection tool. So Congress is right to be concerned about it. I have concerns about it. What's not right is Nancy Pelosi trying to act like she's a hip, cool, happening young lady. So she's given this speech and she's trying to explain how this is not a ban on TikTok and there's really good reasons to have TikTok and then there's reasons not to have TikTok and or there's reasons to bring this legislation and insisting this does not ban TikTok. But in essence, I mean, the spirit of the law kind of does unless the owners in China divest from it, which we have to see. So... As she's giving the speech, she ends the speech with trying to be funny, trying to be hip, trying to be cool, hits him with a little saying, and then slams her hand down on the podium for effect. I found it hilarious, but ironically hilarious. I didn't find her joke hilarious. I found the fact that she thought it was funny to be hilarious. So I want you to watch this, and then I want you to tell me what you think. Maybe I'm missing it, right? Maybe I'm not seeing the joke. Maybe I'm not seeing how hip and cool Nancy Pelosi is, and I need you to tell me. So make me know in the comments when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding and for his leadership on this very important issue, and I thank the distinguished chairwoman uh, of the Energy and Commerce Committee and associate myself with her remarks, as well as with Mr. Pallone's. I thank Mr. Christian Morphy and Mr. Gallagher, Chairman Gallagher of the Select Committee, uh, on China for their great leadership, bringing this legislation forward uh, to the Committee of Jurisdiction, Legislative Jurisdiction. It, Mr. Chair, I have a few points to make, uh, and it's interesting to hear this respectful debate. First of all, this is not a ban on TikTok. I'm a grandmother of teenagers. I understand the entertainment value, the educational value, the communication value, the business value for some business on this. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tick-tack-toe. A winner. A winner. 